Matthew chapter 3, starting in verse 13, says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to be baptized by John. John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. So how is it that we should be baptized? What is the way that we should be baptized? Growing up Catholic and then being ordained in a Baptist church, and now the pastor of a multi-denominational church, I was both sprinkled and I was immersed. And there are actually times where people say, if you're not done this way or not done that way, then you don't have a place in heaven. I have to share with you that if you really study this subject in the Bible, you will find many misconceptions. There's nowhere in the Bible that it shares that you receive the Holy Spirit upon baptism. Some denominations will tie to a verse such as Acts 2.38, and it says, then you will receive, but it says it doesn't say and then. It's not at that point that the Holy Spirit comes upon you. That is upon salvation, when you accept God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So which then is the right way? Is sprinkling the right way? Is immersion the right way? When is the right time? Is there a right time? Well, we're gonna take a look at Jesus and his baptism this week, and we're gonna use that as the model and as the example. But know this, if you haven't chosen to be baptized yet, and you have not taken that step, baptism does not assure you a place in heaven. It is not part of your salvation. Knowing Christ and accepting him as your savior is what gets us into heaven.